lovely to be back in Davos yeah, with you. We've been here a couple of times together. You guys have been working with Lockheed Martin now for a number of years, uh, a number of developments there about bringing, you know, IPFS, your technology into space. Tell us a little bit about what the latest updates are on that. And you have a big announcement related to it as well. So I want to hear what that is. We have been so delighted at Filecoin Foundation to get to work with Lockheed Martin for the past few years on putting IPFS, the interplanetary file system, into space. Uh, IPFS was actually envisioned from the beginning as a technology that could enable better long distance networking in space, much better than today's centralized internet model. And we are so excited to announce this week that we have successfully completed a demonstration mission uh, with Lockheed Martin, where we actually were able to send data back and forth from Earth to a Lockheed Martin satellite using IPFS. And we're so excited that we completed this demo mission successfully and delighted to be here announcing that here in Davos this week. Okay, so you've mentioned IPFS, uh, clearly a very important technology for Firecoin. How exactly is it valuable to space and to people working in space? So the reason IPFS is better for long distance communications in space is that today's centralized internet model just doesn't really work in space. That's because when you're retrieving data on today's internet, you're retrieving it from a particular location in a particular place. So that means that you are going to that location and trying to retrieve the data. And if you're on Earth, that's not a huge deal. There isn't a big delay. But if you're on the moon, there's gonna be a multi-second delay when you're trying to retrieve that data. If you're on Mars and you're trying to retrieve data from Earth, there's gonna be a multi-minute delay. So there's a lot of latency in today's centralized internet model. It doesn't really work in long distance communications. What IPFS does is instead of looking for data in a particular location, it looks for data based on what that data is. So each piece of content has a content ID. That content ID means that you can look for that content and it'll pull it from wherever's closest. So if you're already downloading it on your device, it'll pull it from your device. If a nearby lunar station has it, it'll pull it from there. If a passing satellite has it, it'll pull it from there. So it eliminates a lot of latency. The second reason is that there's a lot of radiation in space. And what that means is that it's really easy for data to get corrupted. So when data gets corrupted, if you're looking for data in that place, you're not gonna be able to retrieve it. So it's much better if you can look for a particular piece of content and it'll pull it from wherever is closest. And if it's corrupted somewhere, it doesn't matter. It'll just pull it from somewhere else. The final reason that IPFS is much better for space is that it actually allows you to cryptographically verify that data hasn't been tampered with. So because each piece of content is assigned a content ID, if you change even one pixel, it's a different content ID. That means if you're taking data in space, let's say satellite images, what happens is you take those satellite images, they're assigned a content ID, you beam them down to Earth, and you can actually cryptographically verify it that no one has tampered with them. So that's potentially very powerful. So space is not the only thing you're working on. Filecoin's got a lot going on. Give us a sense of what's uh, in the pipeline for Filecoin in uh, 2024 and beyond. We are doing a lot of really exciting things at the Filecoin Foundation this year. So we're still building on the excitement from last year when we launched the FEM, the Filecoin Virtual Machine, which brought a lot of programmability to the network and also led to a lot of applications being built on top of the Filecoin network. Um, the second thing I personally am really excited about is we have some projects building on top of Filecoin that really enable decentralized compute. So the same way that Filecoin was able to create a decentralized alternative to AWS, being able to do decentralized compute compute is really important for something like AI, right? Or you don't want to have just a few companies who can afford that kind of compute. You want to be able to have many, many people access the power of AI. So we're really excited about working on those projects that are being built on top of Filecoin. Marta Belcher, president of the Firecoin Foundation, thank you so much for joining me.